Did Figma just make auto layout even better? Well, at config that just happened, Figma announced new features for auto layout, which I think will save web designers a lot of time. So let's jump into Figma and go through all these new auto layout settings and understand how they work. So Figma just added a great new setting. They added the ability that you can wrap it. So before you used to only be able to sit it vertically or horizontally, which was okay, but it got annoying because you'd have to break things down a lot more when you're working in auto layout. But now with the wrap ability, this saves a lot of the time. Historically, if you wanted to achieve this, for desktop, that would be okay. And then if I wanted to make a tablet version, I have one auto layout, I have to select both of these, apply auto layout, apply auto layout to these, and then shift these to go on top of each other. So we have three auto layouts now to achieve the same thing. But now we can go from needing three auto layout to achieve this setting to just one auto layout. So in Figma, you would still set everything up the same way with these cards. But now if we select all these and wrap them together, so shift A, apply auto layout, and you look over on the settings here, they're slightly different. So you still have what you had before of the changing to a vertical layout, or changing it to a horizontal layout, but now you have this new setting of being able to wrap things. This is super helpful. There's been heaps of times when I've had to mess it around in Figma and waste time to make stuff responsively. Wrapping is the answer. Also going with that, they have added minimum and maximum width. This is super great when handing over to a developer because being able to specify this helps a lot more. Should this scale forever or should this hit a certain point and then break and how it should change. So to apply this, same as before, apply auto layout. And then say we know these cards are gonna wrap eventually we want to apply wrap and then select each of these come over to here and click the drop down and we want to set a minimal width so we know that once these cards hit 250 we want them to wrap and chain so if you kind of think if it's going from desktop to tablet we know that the cards we want them to shift and we don't want them to just squish together forever so if we apply auto layout to this frame as well now that we've applied auto layout we'll take the container set that to fill and set each of these cards to fill so still as it grows they'll continually taking up space and they'll keep growing. But now as we go down, once we hit 250 for these cards, it's actually gonna wrap. It's gonna break on top of each other like this. And as you keep going, it'll break again. And then keep going and it's gonna break all the way down. It's gonna save so much time. So for a practical example of how this new feature saves so much time, this was actually a tutorial I was working on this week before Figma announced the new auto layout feature. So before with auto layout, you'd have to, if you wanted to set up things responsively, you'd have to set up multiple auto layout frames because if I wanted to change this from desktop to tablet, as I shifted it down, it wouldn't break because you couldn't be able to set a minimal width on it and it didn't know how to wrap. So it would go like this and then you would have to change it to what I was saying before of multiple auto layout frames and then stacking them on top of each other and then also doing the same again with mobile. But now with this new wrap ability, it kind of just made my video obsolete because now I can just set wrap and it will stack all the way down to mobile and then all I'd have to fix up is the type style and the menu but I wouldn't have to set up multiple auto layout frames. So thanks Figma for the feature, but you did ruin my previous video. <laughs> the other side of this is setting a maximum width. This is super helpful as well. With this website design we have here, we don't want this to stretch forever. We might want this hero section to stretch, but we want these cards to eventually hit a maximum width section. So similar, we can apply a max width. So let's say once it hits 2000 pixels, we don't want them stretching any further than that. So now as we stretch this out, keep stretching and then when it hits 2000 pixels it's not going to stretch any further and it's going to respect the maximum width that we just set it with one more change that you're going to have to get used to is that they've changed the location of the spacing so before to change it from fix to auto spacing you used to open the advanced setting and there was another option in here now the spacing mode option is next to here with a drop down so before just how that works we go here and these are 24 apart at the moment we want to set something 128 apart they'll set an exact pixel width between them but if we want them to actually just be spaced evenly like this that's how that would happen with these new auto layout updates it's going to make building a lot faster there was multiple new features that figma announced at config so make sure you subscribe because i'm going to go through all of them